So I created this video a few months ago entitled Studying Tips for the Next College Semester. And in this video, I wanted to get your opinion on what studying tips that you had that you found useful that helped you to pass your class, whether in high school or in college. And so today I want to go over uh, some of the comments that you made that can help other students as well. So the first one I want to look at is one by JK Math, which says, I always found studying for a test or exam over the course of several days to be extremely helpful. For example, if I knew I had an exam coming up in the following week, I would plan to study only certain topics of the course each day following up to the exam, usually starting around anywhere from five to seven days before the actual test. Now, I do agree with this. Whenever you study the material ahead of time, you give yourself an advantage and there's less stress on you. The more time you give yourself to learn the material, the easier it's going to be. Then he goes on to say, breaking up the topics into separate days makes it easy to know when to stop studying for each day and avoid overwhelming yourself. Then on the last day before the test, I will go back and review all the sections, but quicker as a final recap before exam day. And it makes sense. You never want to study too much because it could stress you out and you don't want to add stress to your life. So it makes sense to break up your study sessions over many days. So next up we have Cal Colomer, 7736. He recommends explaining the concepts in your class to others to show you understand the material. And it is true, whenever you teach others, you teach yourself. So if you're helping other students in your class to learn the material, at the same time, you're reviewing it yourself. And that really, it reinforces what you already know, which is good. Now, he also recommends getting into study groups and learning together. And he says, not getting into study groups was a mistake on my part, as it took longer for me to study without this. Now, I can see the value of having study groups because sometimes someone in a group may mention something or a concept that you might have missed in your own study. And that concept could be on the test. That happened to me. So when you're studying with other people, they can help you catch on certain concepts that you might have missed while studying for the exam. Next up, we have Mountain King 1166. I have three things I usually do when I study. One is for memorizing things, one is for general studying, and the last is for math. When you need to memorize things like functional groups, chemical reactions, taxonomies, or really anything like that, write it out several times as you say it. I once heard that seven times is enough, but I usually shoot for 20 to be safe. Wow. Now, I definitely agree with this because when you're writing notes, it also helps to reinforce what you're learning. And also, if you say it too, all of these, they do serve as a memory aid. So writing out the things you're learning, saying it, when you teach to others, you're doing that as well. I know for me, when I'm working on, let's say, like a math class or physics or chemistry, what helps me memorize the formulas is by writing it out. So every time I would solve a problem using the formula, I would write out that formula and then solve the problem. So after working through 20 or 30 homework problems, I've written out that formula many times. So by the time the tests arrive, I just know the formula because I've seen it so many times. So writing things out does help a lot. Now let's look at iTurbo5733's comment. When I study with your videos, I found that it is most beneficial to pause the video after the, problem, after the problem is introduced and make the best attempt I can before playing more of the video and seeing the solution. This really allows me to analyze where I make mistakes and I tend to remember not to make those same mistakes later. You really get a lot more out of the videos than you do watching passively. And I certainly agree with this comment. You got to do the work. If you're not doing the homework problems, by the time the tests arrive, there's a good chance you won't be prepared. 
So doing the work really helps you to learn the material. Now the next comment I want to read is from Farukula Fondi 2683. And here it reads, honestly, another useful tip in college is hanging around and making friends with people who share the interests of having good grades and studying frequently. As they push you to study things more thoroughly, it might give you heads up for things that you may have missed. Group studying is very, very effective as well. When you are engaging verbally around people, it helps memorize ideas, theories, especially if you know the subject and you start explaining it to them. It makes you even more disciplined in that manner. I definitely agree on this. The people that you hang out with, they have a huge effect on you. Your association matters. And if you're around other students who really want to do well in the class, they can have an effect on you. They can push you to study more. That happened to me when I was taking AP Chemistry. I was around students who really wanted to ace their exams. There were students who were competing with each other, seeing who can get the highest test grade. And that drove all of us to study harder. And so I could see the truth behind uh, what he's saying here. Now there's many other comments, but I won't be able to get to all of them. But for those of you who would like to read more, uh, feel free to do so. I think there's over 800 comments in this one video. So I certainly appreciate the response, but we just covered five comments and we're already seven minutes into this video. But nevertheless, I want to say thank you for those of you who took the time to comment and you know help others to learn you know what studying tips that you found helpful so that others can benefit as well.